everyone and uh, today I'm gonna be talking uh, I'm gonna be doing uh, a video blog and no I'm not gonna edit this so it's gonna be a video without I'm not gonna edit anything uh, okay so today I went to um, a support group because I'm, I'm uh, I've been to one just today and I was inspired to talk about um, the discussion topic uh, which is attachment and its effects on our daily lives so um, how can it being attached to things because uh, this is the discussion that they were discussing in the support group and it really inspired me to do this video and to talk about it and to spread uh, this concept to other people. So, uh, being attached to things. Uh, for example, sometimes you get attached to things. It could be physical, it could be material things, or it could be even person or people, certain people, or even non-physical things. You get attached to things. So sometimes when these things that you are attached to uh, is taken away from you, then uh, this, um, once it, it is taken away from you, you're going to experience pain. You're going to experience, you're going to suffer a lot and you're going to experience emotional pain and a lot of things. Why? Because these things are gone now and you no longer have them. Why? Because you were so attached. You are so dependable. Um, you are depending your happiness on these things. So, for example, if, uh, for example, let's say I am attached to my uh, phone to my mobile phone which I am to a certain extent so if this phone is taken away from me what am I gonna what am I gonna do I'm gonna suffer a lot I'm gonna suffer terribly like how can I really live without my phone I'm so attached to it like I see it day and night like I'm so attached, which is a bad thing. So the, um, the concept of the support group discussion is you don't need to be attached to anything in life. You don't need to. Like, don't depend on things. Don't depend on people. Don't be attached, okay? It's good to love certain things and, you know, have certain relationship with things, but... If, just think, if this thing is taken away from you, will, will you be, will you still be happy or you will suffer? If the answer is the latter, which you will suffer, then you should stop and think why I am so attached to this thing. And how can I avoid being so attached? How can I de-attach myself? Once you reach that level, then you reach the level of um, maturity and you reach the level of, you know, the, the good level in life when you detach yourself to certain things. So I wish that I reach that level and I'm trying to train myself. Like, I have a quote that I want to uh, mention now. Don't be happy for a reason or don't be happy for a certain things. Because if this thing is taken away from you, then you are in trouble and you're going to be in trouble. So think about it. Don't let your happiness, like, I'm going to be happy if this person is living with me. What if this person is not living with me? Or what if this person is traveling? What if this person is moving away? Will I suffer? Why will I suffer? And why am I so attached to this person like even think about it in relationships or think about it like I for example I'm like I always think this is a very stupid not stupid but you know every teenage person goes into the uh, crush phase like I was having a crush on an actor 
So I always think this, like if I'm gonna meet him, if he gonna be my friend or whatever, I'm gonna be so super, super happy. Okay, I know this thing is kind of impossible and there is 99% it won't happen. So will I be miserable? Why am I so attached to people? Or why am I so attached to things? So, try to learn and try to be happy for no reason. Like, be happy, uh, live your life, detaching yourself from things, and see if that works. And I hope it works for me. And thank you for watching and listening. And see you in another video thank you and do comment below i i would love to hear all of your comments thank you so much